Hello friends. In the previous video, we have seen bitwise operators that will be used in the Python. We have seen with AND or then XOR, right? So in order to understand the further bitwise operators, so we have to understand some numerical structure, right? When I mean numerical structure, let's take an example to understand this. Say example, if the number is 4,356, right? So what does this mean? You must have studied in your elementary school, right? Six is in units place, five is in tens place, three is in hundreds place, and four is in thousands place. So can I write like this? The number 4,356 can be written as four into 1000 which is 4000 plus 3 into 100 which is 300 5 into 10 which is 15 plus 6 into 1 which is 6 so together it forms 4356 or the other way that i can write is 4 into 10 raised to 3 3 into 10 raised to 2 5 into 10 raised to 1 and 6 into 10 raised to 0 Anything raised to 0, which is always equal to 1. So, hence it becomes 6 into 1. Right. Say so if there is one more added number added. Say I, I put some number in the 10,000 place. That means, say if I put 5, then it becomes 5 into 10 raised to 4. Like this, the number starts growing. This is what we have seen in the decimal number system. And the same thing holds good when it is a binary number system. For example, if this is a binary number which is given to you, right, the same way I have 2 raised to 0 into 2 raised to 0, 1 into 2 raised to 1. I am starting from units place, right, from the LSB. Okay. So then 1 into 2 raised to 2, then 0 into 2 raised to 3, then 0 into 2 raised to 4, then 1 into 2 raised to 5, and 1 into 2 raised to 6. Right. So, if I want to find the decimal value of this, so I will get 64 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2. Right. So, that will be the decimal equivalent of this binary representation double one double zero double one zero. Right. So, having understood this, in the backdrop of all these explanations, let's try understanding the shift operations. Right. So, let's focus on uh, left shift and right shift operations, right? Let's consider the number 8. How do we represent 8 in binary? It is 1, triple 0, right? Now, I will use the operator which is called as right shift. The arrow marks are towards the right side and hence it is called as right shift. So, when I use right shift operation, okay, so 1, okay, whatever is the MSB value, this value shifts right. Then this value shifts right, this value shifts right, right, this value gets vanished, right. So that way, a new way, 0 is added in to the first place, which means now the number appears like this. After one time, I do the right shift, right. So this one got shifted to the next place, this 0 got to the next place, this 0 got to the next place and a new 0 is inserted at the beginning. This is one time shift. Say if I shift it twice, right? So again, this one will go here. This zero will go here. A new zero will get added here. That's example one. In the example two, let's consider 10, right? So how do you represent 10 in binary? 1, 0, 1, 0, right? So if I do a right shift, right? What will happen? What ideally you are expecting is this one should shift here. This zero will go out. This 1 will shift here, this 0 will shift here, and this 1 will shift here, and a new 0 will be added. That means the number will become now 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, this is first one shift. So, similarly, I will go back to the same example 8. If I shift it twice, right, it becomes 0, 0, 1, 0. It, if I shift it once again, it becomes 0, 0, 0, 1. Right. So, this is how we will be implementing the right shift operation. Right. On the other hand, the left shift operation, I will take the same number 8. Right. So, now the last number, that means this is a MSB, this is a LSB. Right. This is called as lower significant bit. This is a MSB, most significant bit. 
Now what I am trying to do? I am trying to do the left shift operation. So left shift operation when I do, right? So all the all these bits will shift towards the left, right? So this one gets shifted here, this zero gets shifted here, this zero gets shifted here, and this zero gets shifted here, right? So that means there are four zeros, one zero, new zero got added at the LSB and one has shifted here. So if you try to compute the new uh, decimal value of this, this will be equal to 16. Right? Sorry for the different in animations, but so once I shift once again to the left, so there is one more one, one gets shifted here, so followed with all zeros. Right. So one more example is taken here. 10. Please try out 10. So 10 representation is 1010, 1010. Once I left shift it here. Right. So once I left shift here, what will happen? This one will go out uh, to the next bit. So this zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. New zero is added. So it becomes double zero, one zero one. Right. So this becomes the value 20. Okay. So please try out these. <clears throat> so in the next video, we will see the implementation of this.